one of the biggest Afrobeat stars in the entire world, Fuse ODG. Yes, sir. For one more time. Welcome to Nairobi. Thanks for having me. Alan. We are so excited you're in our city. Man, because we've been looking everywhere for you and you didn't yeah. come and we, we felt some type of way about that. Nah, you know, I've been traveling all across the world and I've been doing so many shows, but Nairobi is a place that I've always wanted to be at. And I was just waiting for the right situation, to, you know, to arrive and we're here now. Four more party tomorrow. I'm hoping to see everyone there. You're probably the only African artist who's had your song at number one on the world iTunes yeah, charts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is huge. Yeah, yeah, we're breaking so many barriers because my whole mission is to not just get my music big in Africa, but to get it outside of Africa as well. You know, so in the UK, we dominate the charts a lot. In Europe as well, you know, and I, I, I try to connect with different artists outside of Afrobeats. Right. You know, so I'm one of the first people to do that. And this is just because I'm on a mission where I want to showcase Africa in a positive way. You know. Do you think Afrobeats as a label or as, as a tag is limiting? No, I wouldn't say it's limiting because there's so many different vibes in, in, you know, in the genre of Afrobeats. There's a slow vibe, right. there's the fast vibe, there's the mid-tempo vibe, you know, there's that sexy vibe, there's the dance vibe. You know, there's so many different types of Afrobeats. You know, so I definitely wouldn't say it's limiting because it's Afro soul, Afro dance, Afro R&B, Afro hip hop, Afro, you know, the, um, drum and bass, you know, it's everything. Right. You know? You've got the benefits of two kind of backgrounds in yeah. Ghana and in London. Yeah, How did yeah. that inform your artistry? Man, it definitely influenced me because living in London, you know, the stuff that I was seeing about Africa wasn't so positive. And when I went back to, you know, to Africa, when I went back to Ghana and I saw how amazing you know, our continent was and how the media was showcasing it to me, it made me feel like I need to be the kind of artist that showcased the real truth, you know, behind Africa. You know, it just made me realize how the media perceive Af Africa outside of Africa. You know, when you're in, you know, Kenya, or when you're in Ghana, or when you're in Nigeria, you don't really notice what the people are saying out there. You know, but I did because that's where I grew up. You know, and it just gave me that, you know, the, the energy and the vim to want to showcase the world, the real truth behind Africa, and that's what I'm doing. Your album is called This Is New Africa. This Is New Africa. Why? You're very African. For a guy who lives in London, you're very connected I'm, to Africa. I'm so African. I love my African food. We just mm -hmm. came from an African restaurant. A restaurant was the food that, good? Yeah, the food was so nice. Did they serve um, jollof rice? No, they actually served um, <laughs> some... It was like white rice mm -hmm. with some tomato stew and chicken. Right. But it felt really Kenyan, you know, because I've, I've already had the... Is it the, the, the trauma? Yeah, nyama trauma. That's one yeah. of our specialties. Yeah, yeah, I've already mm -hmm. had a nyama trauma, so it felt like I was eating that as well. So, and it was really hot pepper. You know, in the Western world, we don't have hot pepper like that, but I love my hot pepper, you know, because I'm African. That's the one thing we don't love. We, in Kenya, we don't really eat pepper. Yeah, you know. I think it ruins the taste people, of the food. People in, in East Africa and like South Africa, they don't really like hot pepper, but West Africans, we love <laughs> our peppers, you know. And the place that I just came from, which is right. like two minutes away from you mm -hmm. right now. Right. Crazy food and the peppers all in there. And I love that, you know, <laughs> because to me, that's what being a West African is about, you know. So. You were asked to participate in a pretty big deal song. Yeah. The, what is that? Band Aid. Band Aid. Yeah. And you refused? Yeah, it's the biggest deal and I refused because... Why um, would you do something like I that? I felt like it wasn't in alignment with the mission I was, which is to you know, showcase Africa in its purity and, and, you know, in a way where people would want to invest instead of just, you know, giving that $2 a month and just walking on. Because right. to me, I feel like the band aid thing, they show Africa in such a negative way that you just give your $2 a month and you move on with your life. Instead of feeling like you want to come to Africa and have a holiday and spend about $10,000. People know. feel like... We should be grateful because all of the world's biggest, biggest artists are coming together to shine a spotlight, yeah. quote unquote, on Africa yeah. and donating the talents to try and get people to, to yeah. give money. Yeah. I mean, from, you know, from like a, the, a first point of view, it looks like you need to be grateful because they're raising money to help. But in the long term, you know, it's really something that's really not good for the continent. It's something that's disrupting the growth of the continent because if you're saying that this place is a place of poverty this place is a place where people are dying i wouldn't want to go there so therefore i'm going to go to las vegas instead and i'm going to spend twenty thousand right. dollars in las vegas mm -hmm. 
But if we showcase Africa like it's Dubai, like it's Las Vegas, you know, like, you know, like a country where you'd want to have peace and joy, you would come, right. you'd get inspired, you'd give more than $2 a month, you'd give about, you know, your holiday $5,000, you know, $10,000, or you might even meet someone that make you want to stay, you know, True. and invest more in a continent, you know, so to me, it's a different perspective. We have to look at, you know, growth of Africa in the long term, not just taking $2 a month or £2. So we don't need to be just a charity case? No, we're not a charity case because it's a place where you can find peace and happiness. You know, in the Western world, it's so hard to just find peace because everyone's always moving. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always trying to, you know, get to the next target, you get, to the, get to the next move, but the happiness is not there. You know, but here, even though sometimes our timing might not be right on point, you know, at the end of the day, we're still more calm, we're still more happy. You know, and I find more happiness in Africa more than anywhere else. That is very nice what you said. Are you trying to shoot a video here? Yeah, I'm trying to shoot a video here tomorrow and Sunday. So I'm looking for some dancers. You haven't found dancers yet? I mean, I've, I've got loads of different entries uh -huh. that we're looking at, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm still going to put it out there for new people to enter. But we've got loads of dancers, amazing dancers. You know, it's really hard to pick because we only have we have to pick a few. Yes, I want some dancers on stage with me tomorrow, and also we're doing some music videos. So know. that's for an upcoming song. Yes, for an upcoming song. I've actually um actually got in the studio in Nairobi already. already? Oh, you're busy you know, with a local artist. I came today. Tell us who who is it? Um, I was in the studio with Night Boy. All right. Um, and yeah, man, we've got a pretty mm -hmm. crazy song. You know that we're looking to shoot a video to before I leave. I'm also good friends with South to Soul. Um, we're talking about making a song, so. That would be all really kinds of awesome. Good, good friends, man. I'm really excited, you know. I'm, I'm really inspired by Nairobi. What are you hiding? We, we, every time we have an artist come on and they, they have these uh, things on, we're like, oh, what kind of night did they have last night and what, what are they hiding? No, you know, I'm only hiding sleep. You know, I haven't slept in a long time. I'm, I'm cool. It's, it's, not you know. it's, not, it's not bad. <laughs> yes, we can. Yeah, we can see your eyes. We, yeah, we yeah, understand yeah, you cool. work hard. You I just mean, yeah, in. I just came off the flight and mm -hmm. you know came straight down here. Yeah. We really appreciate that because I love you guys. Oh, we oh we love you right back, man. We love you right back. <laughs> this is the best one I've I, I've done so far. You've had just such a fantastic career. Um, your debut single, just number seven of the UK singles, did very well in Scotland as well. Yeah. Um. What is your secret, man? Man, you know, I just stay working hard, stay work, you know, stay being focused, and I keep God in everything that I do. You know, I'm a very humble person. I like meeting good people. I'm all about good vibes. Like today, you know, the people that I've met, you right. know, they're just people. We're all just the flesh, mm -hmm. and we're here because of the grace of God. And, you know, I keep that in the center of everything that I do, and I just work really hard. Awesome. Hold that thought. Let's look at social media. What are they saying right now? Kristen, my is looking at all of the Twitters. Uh, Kristen? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, Samuel Wamea says, so this guy, Fuse ODG, is finally here. I love all his songs. That guy is top-notch, true and proud African. Top-notch, true and proud African. Look at all those comments. That's descriptions, so nice. man. Yeah. So much love for him. Oh, uh, Ejanela saying, tell Fuse ODG, I'm such a huge fan. I azontoed my entire youth away. I love <laughs> really all his songs. Too much love. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't uh, your whole youth. <laughs> your whole youth. That's wow, that is one way to live. Yeah, that's a serious <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else is out there? And Akitara is saying the trend is on fire today. Fuse ODG. It's great to see you in the house. Big, Big fan. fan. Oh. Uh, and my all-time favorite, Fuse ODG in the house. He has to perform Tina and Million Pound Girl. Don't he worry. has to perform all his songs. You've yeah. got yeah, to go watch him in concert tomorrow. He to tomorrow. He's not going to perform all everything. his songs. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> I know, everyone is asking you to perform, but they have to go out and see him. Exactly, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do everything. Yeah. I do everything. <laughs> all right. Yes. That's it? Yes, that's it for now. Excellent. What does ODG mean, though? Off the ground. Off the ground. Elevation. Ah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually um, a group that was started when... You know, we were kids, me and my friends, um, back in London. And, um, I mean, we all just went off to do our thing, but I felt like that was my family. So I felt like I needed to keep as my surname. You know, some of them are not doing music no more, but some right. of them are still, you know, involved in music. One of them's my manager, you know, it's just a family. And now we have like different producers, we have songwriters, we have dancers. We have entrepreneurs, you know, the ODG is, is, is the umbrella and everything comes underneath it. All right. 
I'm surprised it didn't come up in those tweets, but I'm sure lots of girls are asking, is he seeing someone? Oh, Kenya, I am here to explore. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a stampede outside the building, Yo, dude. Kenya, I'm here to explore. Nairobi, East Africa. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> All of the girls are going to come out to your show tomorrow, <laughs> and they just be like, yes, this is my number. Yeah, it's on the I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for the million pound girl. Yeah. Looking for the million pound girl. Yeah. Oh, well done. Uh, is it easy? Is it easy though when you you're traveling all over the place? You, you're a huge superstar. Is it easy to have a relationship with an actual real connection? You know what I do? I leave everything to God, and you have to go through to go through God to get to me. You know. So if I see you and I don't see, you know, the the, the spiritual side to you, and I don't, we don't vibe. Right. Then it's not. It's not gonna work. We're not gonna go nowhere. You know. Because anything for anything to last you know, in the long run, in this world that we're in, right. in this shallow world that we're in, it needs to be spiritual, you know. So any girl that approaches me, you need to come right and come correct, <laughs> you know. Are you a very spiritual man? I'm a highly spiritual person, you know, because that's all I have, you know. That's the, I think that's the most purest thing that you can have as a person for you to, like how I'm talking to you now, mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know you from anywhere, but I can catch your vibe. Right. And that's a spiritual thing. You know, and the more you connect with that, the more you're likely to see who's real and who's not from mm -hmm. when you first meet them. Oh, fantastic. Your new album, it's about to come out? Yes, I'm excited. Timelines, give us timelines. Yeah. When does it drop? Um, I'm about to drop some new music from the album, let's say, like, in the next two weeks, mm -hmm. within the next two weeks. And I'm going to drop some more music after that. And then the collaborations from the album. Right. And then the album's going to drop. So you guys... I'm in for you know an exciting journey, man. I'm really excited. The last one was This Is New Africa. We're about to take it to a new African nation. Right. Tina was a mentality. Mm -hmm. And now we're on New African Nation, which is we're going to see what Tina's about. But you're going to see what the mission is about. So is that the name of the new album? This is New African Nation? New African Nation. New African Nation. This, I've never mentioned it anywhere else. So you heard it here first. His yeah. new album is called New African so, Nation. Tina was a mentality, mm -hmm. you know, Nana. It's a physicality. <laughs> I feel like you should be a preacher, dude. <laughs> you should just be like... <laughs> <laughs> and you're West African, which means you already have like half an audience. You should, just <laughs> you should oh, have a ministry somewhere. I, I could definitely have a church. Um, <laughs> because, you know, I'm just as, you know, as sinful as the, the pastor. You know? <laughs> and I'm just as pure, you know, <laughs> as the, um, the ushers. You know, so I, I can definitely <laughs> hold the church. If you want to come to my church, follow me on my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we can make a church. <laughs> you can make a church. I can be the treasurer of the church. Because yeah, yeah. the idea came from me. I'm not sure if I could trust you. You look like you spend a lot of money. <laughs> I will be true to the ministry and to the word of God. <laughs> yeah, so it's the usher. Uh, and, and then the ushers. <laughs> All of, what will happen is you'll have a lot of girls who are looking at you and they're like, oh, we can come and be ushers, we can help in the choir, the prison worship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where it gets crazy. <laughs> King Solomon didn't survive, so. <laughs> <laughs> King Solomon had, what, 700 concubines? Yo, he, he's a legend. He's you a know, legend in more ways than we one. We have to try and be the best that we can, um, even he failed. But um, I'm sure we can, we, you know, we can survive. You know, there's a lot of beautiful women in the world, and I appreciate them. Right. You know, I, I, I like appreciating women because I feel like they're more powerful than us. They don't even know how powerful they are. I feel like women are a lot more powerful. Everything that we're doing is because of a woman. You right. look good because you want to impress a woman. Absolutely. You're working hard maybe because of your mom, maybe because of your daughter, <laughs> maybe because of your girlfriend. You know, you yes. get angry. Maybe you want to show how aggressive you are because there might be women around. If oh, it yes. was just men, you probably wouldn't care. You didn't make that much of an impression. You know, so women are really powerful. They need to know that. Okay, finally, what's your favorite collaboration? You've worked with people, Sean Paul, yeah. the world. Um, my favorite collaboration um, probably be Wyclef. Wyclef, yes. Yeah, because um, he's achieved so much, but yeah, so humble. And, you know, he's I saw, a genius. I, yeah, genius. I saw how disciplined he was, you know, because he's the guy that broke Destiny's Child, you yes. know, Destiny's Child, Beyonce. And he's broken so many, you know, Carlos Santana, he's worked to so many legends. And he was so humble and still hungry and hardworking, you know, and he keeps me humbled, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm still in touch with him. And that's why when I meet new people, I don't act like what I've achieved. You, you don't know? have, I, I must say this though for our audience, because we interview a lot of big celebrities here and a lot of them come with these airs, 
and you don't have any of that. You're like an nah, ordinary I'm, person. No, I'm a normal person because I'm only flesh. You know, what's powerful about me is my spirit, but you can't touch that. You know? <laughs> this is why you should be a preacher. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you can touch my flesh if you want, but mm -hmm. this ain't nothing, right. you know, so... But um, I, I'm just a highly spirited person and I'm, I'm a good vibe kind of person. If you've got Absolutely. good vibes, I agree. we can roll. Excellent. I wonder if, okay, Kristen doesn't have any more people. I'm sure they have plenty of them. Do we have time to get into them? Um, sh she doesn't seem sure. Listen, Fuse ODG is performing tomorrow at the formal party at the Ngong Race Course Waterfront from uh, 2 p.m., I believe. A.m. Um, 2 a.m. It would be 2 a.m. From 6 p.m. <laughs> 6 p.m. 2 p.m. would be a bit yeah. too early. Yeah. From 6 p.m. tomorrow. You've got to go and see him. Okay, Kristen. She's got... Look, people are still saying things. Kristen, what are they saying? <laughs> um, Backspace is asking, ask Fuse ODG, which artist from Kenya does he respect and would love to have a collab with? You already said that. Yeah, South and Soul. Um, uh, Ed Janela saying, see why Ghanaians are amazing people? I mean, how can you not fall in love with Fuse OG uh, and the <laughs> smile? I cannot keep These calm. are the girls I was telling you about. <laughs> With customs bind the spirits of fish in the name of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, follow me, church. Let's go. <laughs> Let's have a service. We're going to take an offering now. <laughs> Pastor Alfred. The treasurer's here. <laughs> yes, yes. I will take care of all the money in my bank account. <laughs> Is that it, Kristen? Uh, moving on. Someone doesn't seem to agree with your dancing styles, Larry. Domino's no. saying you're doing the stanky leg for a yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You do the stanky leg. You need to learn more. Oh. <laughs> what, what, won't you let me prosper, no, we're man? Gonna, we'll fix this by tomorrow. Okay, by, the t by tomorrow when I go to the formal party, I'll, be, I'll have... We have to it. fix it. Correct. We have to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else is there? Yes, uh, Anthony Nganga saying, a mission so deep and well-defined, Africa really needs more people like him. We too have less people to beg around. Of course. That's the final one. Awesome. 100%. See, you, you're starting, it's a movement, your followers it's, already. It's, it's a movement because, you know, we all kind of feel the same way. We just need someone to actually speak up on it. And to me, I feel like I'm a vessel and I'm ready to take on an mission. And, but you guys, I need the support of you guys, you know. My mission is to get people that's African, outside of Africa, to come back home and invest. Right. You know, because we have so much talent, there's so much resource, but we need to all get together in order to make Kenya a better place, to make Ghana a better place, you know. Awesome. Peace. Thank you so much for coming on. Yes, Mr. Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> have, a great, have a great show, Pastor. Uh, thank <laughs> yes, I hope my congregation shows up. Your entire congregation is going to be And let's have there. a great service. <laughs>